Hi, I'm Ken Craig and I've been involved in sports um, rehabilitation for over 21 years. And uh, I've always known and have been interested in a handheld uh, ultrasound device. And in 2018, I started using some handheld devices uh, which gave me some level of confidence and satisfaction. But I really was impressed when I used the L15 um, MSK scanner from Claris. The L15 Claris scanner gives me an added advantage uh, to appreciate uh, in real time conditions what happens in the joints of my athletes at baseline and after exertional activities and even competition. Here we are in Amsterdam and we are doing a project with Claris using the point of care L15 musculoskeletal scanner. Uh, our project involves uh, high performance uh, European oh, no. speed skaters and we are doing basically a baseline scan of the anterior knee. This is not a full knee tutorial. Uh, we are doing, we are just going to basically demonstrate uh, how valuable it is to clinicians like me involved in uh, various movement and sports uh, applications to note baseline um, screen captures or, or baseline uh, scan captures of a joint as well as post-exertional and competition impacts on the given joint. In this case, it's the knee. All right, so here we start at the uh, rectus femoris. Okay, again, this is um, cranial caudate in a longitudinal scan, sagittal scan. And as you can see, as I move distally towards the superior pole of the patella, I can appreciate the quadriceps tendon. And what we want to find is we want to find that structure there okay and we can appreciate the contribution of the superficial quad from the rectus femoris the deep layer from the intermedialis and the intermediate layers which is actually made up of both the vasti laterae as well as the medialis and what we see there certain structures in between the three uh, they are not pathology, they are basically the uh, physiological space to allow the tendon glide. And here we can see that there's a healthy knee of a healthy athlete. We check the scan medially and laterally over the entire structure. I would also like to pay attention towards the insertion region because that's an area of pathology which is often uh, presenting itself. I would recommend a transverse or scan. Okay, looking at the orientation, there we appreciate the apex of the patella. Now from here, I would actually like to excurs uh, over the patella itself. Now, this is a slightly more challenging maneuver because of the size of the linear probe and the superficial and undulating structure of the patella. As you can see, the screen capture or the image capture on the iPad is showing uh, areas of uh, hypoecho, but it's not hypoecho, it's just that the linear face of the scanner is away from any contact. How we overcome this, we couldn't use a high resolution uh, scanner, but we can do a technique called the floating technique, which means we have an ample amount of gel over the structure. And as you noticed in the previous scan, it was a contact scan. Here, we are going to float the linear end without contact whatsoever. What you see superficially is not tissue, rather gel, and the hyperechoic areas are the structures of interest. Now, at this region, we would be able to appreciate this uh, suprapatellar bursa, which should not appear hyperechoic unless there is bursitis. So this is a physiological knee or a knee that is in good condition. All right. From there, we move more distally and we come 
into contact, we no longer float the probe. We come into full contact and we now start to appreciate the patella tendon. Okay, there we see the fibula patterns of the tendon at the base of the patella. Okay, then you just get more gel. Beneath the patella is the hoffa fat pad. And we keep going distally towards the tibia at the insertion of the patella tendon, which is also a region of interest because pathology does show up here. All right. I would also recommend a transverse scan going back more superiorly. Okay. Side to side, make sure the entire structure medially and laterally are scanned so that we don't miss any pathology or any issues that could be occurring. And we come down distally towards the end of the insertion of the patella tendon at the tibia. Now, what we're going to do, as we said, this is a baseline scan. I'm now going to send this athlete to go and do some uh, exertional activity. And we're going to come back after that. And we are going to do a post exertional scan to see if the changes are physiological or pathological. All right. Thank you.